Well, another short video. Um, popping down the shop again. I had another day off work today. I did arrange two days off to help care for my dad. And I certainly needed to be there. It kind of makes me, well, I can't help but wonder, in all honesty, what would have happened had I not been here because had my relationship worked out with my fiance the way I wanted it to and the way I'm sure she wanted it to I would now be either still engaged or married and you know we would be living as we were together admittedly not a million miles away from where my mum and dad lived but having said that you know with a full-time job you can't be in two places at once um, and I will give my ex fiance a do despite her many faults towards me she did say that you know I could take whatever time was needed to be there for my mom and dad because she realized that obviously my mom while she was still alive wasn't good and my dad wasn't perhaps the best at coping with it so I will give her a do on that score but even with the best will in the world you can't be in two places at once and I realize because of my job I see a lot of people who are in exactly the same predicament you know and I suppose if there are any positives to be drawn for me personally over the way my life's turned out over the last almost two years is that I was there for my mom in what turned out to be the last six months of her life although obviously none of us realized that that was what it was going to be and I was a help to my dad in that point in that time and obviously then we were there for each other after my mom passed away and with my dad's diagnosis to be stage four cancer which was in October last year um, which is not that long ago really if you think about it that was another huge bombshell which just landed not only on him but on, on us both and um, again because of the way things had turned out I was there for him as well um, it does mean that I've made the decision that for me personally I can't I can't hope to restart my life with a new relationship with somebody else because I mean there's various reasons firstly I've inherited the house the way things have worked out so where I'm living now is my forever home so I'm certainly not going to go and move in with somebody else and start contributing to their house when I've got my own house which is mine lock stock and barrel so that presents complications um, obviously I have to be there for my dad I can't just abandon him in his twilight years um, and so if you think about it that way Yes, I've got a full-time job, which most people have. I then have to be there with my dad and fit my own life around that, such as it is. Um, and fortunately for me, really, I've been in a position where other than my cycling, I just said, well, everything else just can go, f go fuck itself, basically. Um, and unfortunately, that means relationships as well. And I'm not gonna lie, I am very, very lonely. And um, particularly on weekends, you know, if I happen to be off on that weekend, I do, I, I do suffer with it a lot. You know, I'm not gonna deny that. And, and my life went from being a very full life when I was engaged, where we were always doing something together one way or the other, to just, you know, cut off dead, gone, that's it. And that's a very difficult transition to, to go through. And, but then again, I have responsibilities. I have to be there for my dad. He's always been there for me. So anything less on my score would be a dereliction of being his son. So I'm not going above and beyond. I'm actually just doing what you have to do or what you're supposed to do. I know a lot of people don't do that. I know a lot of people just, you know, just don't care and put themselves first. And, um, but that's not me. And, and well, I'm, I'm glad that I feel that way, you know. I mean, I'm not gonna try and say that I don't at all feel 
cut off from the life that I used to have and the only social life I've got is at work and because of the fact that you know we keep moving around crewmates all the time it, it, it's not like it was before where you could develop this little core group so I do feel quite isolated at work as well so but it is at least something that's there for me you know um, and I, I've been off work with Covid last week where I just spent the entire week in the house I, I, it made me feel all the more lonely I'm not going to deny that you know so I'm going back to work tomorrow and I'm, I'm actually quite looking forward to it but um, but yeah you know I, I'm I'm not doing anything special in putting my social life and my relationship life on hold for my dad I'm doing what any good son should do which is be there for the man who has spent his life being there for me you know and I know unfortunately a lot of people don't do that and some people perhaps can't do that for, for various reasons you know if they've got a family of their own or if they live hundreds of miles away I mean I've seen every permutation of that in my job um, most people do care to one degree or another but some per people you know in certain circumstances just just can't be there so at least in a way for me the way life has turned out and don't get me wrong I'm, I'm not trying to say I'm glad of it because I'm not glad of it but at least I have been where I should be and need to be and however much it might have hurt me and it really has and I'm not going to for a minute try and say that it hasn't um, I at least know that I have just not left my father in the lurch you know and losing my mom his wife of 50 years was a huge blow to my dad you know in, in a different way to me because it's you know relationship between husband and wife is different to mother and son at least I'm at least fate if you want to put it that I and mean, I don't know what I don't know how the universe governs itself you know I don't know if my life is purely the result of choices I've made or there's something bigger than that which guides us all I, I mean who knows no one knows do they so I really don't know but whatever the circumstances are at least in a way I've ended up in a place where I can do some good for people who have spent their entire life being there for me and I guess this time on my own not in a relationship coming to terms with you know everything that happened in the four years that I was engaged and there was so much going on that was out of my control and I look back on it now and I I entered into this situation that was an absolute powder keg of 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 emotional risks and unaddressed trauma on her side and me pretty naively I suppose walking into the middle of it believing that love was all you needed and that would be that and I found out the hard way that love isn't enough you know and I, I always believed it should be I, st I still think it should be but unfortunately it isn't um, but I am there for my dad and I'm glad of that um, and I mean I have no idea how the future is going to turn out you know if you'd said to me three years ago this is what was going to transpire I would have thought well that's never going to happen but you know here I am so eventually of course I would like to meet somebody and have something in my life other than just going on a bike and going to work it is very lonely I do have needs you know like everybody else does um, but for the meanwhile I, I can't see any possibility of my life being anything other than what it is right now and you know you just unfortunately being an adult is that you have to accept that life isn't all about what you want you know and I think a lot of people now a tremendous amount of people just don't accept that 
life isn't exactly what they want and they they will cast people aside and cast everything aside in the belief that they are owed some sort of happiness from everybody else and they will put that first and um, I've never I've never thought that way you know and I've never used people to get what I want I've never even tried um, I don't believe I'm entitled to anything I've never thought that way I've always tried to make whoever I'm with happy by treating them in a way that you know I think is, is kind and decent and genuine and loving and for me I mean I, I don't really see what else I should have to do because I think that that's enough um, but I'm certainly older I'm certainly wiser I'm certainly more responsible and I've had to take on board a new reality or, or many new realities I suppose um, in quick succession and and that's not been easy you know and I'm, I'm not I'm not trying to complain about it because that's life and for many years I had a very easy life where I didn't have any worries and didn't have anything to think about but it was a very lonely life as well and then suddenly that changed then it changed again so I, I've had I've certainly become I think a better person than I ever used to be and and I've changed in ways that I didn't even realize that I would or needed to or could um, but I, I don't resent being there for my dad as I say he's been there for me from the day I was born and it's now my time to be with him but as I say eventually I, I think I would like to meet someone else I think I'm in I'm entitled to that to a degree you know, you know I'm not a bad person and I've got a lot to give to whoever it might be in future but I'll cross that bridge when I come to it and um, but yeah I'll make the best of what I've got you know at the, at the moment and I mean I am in a very good position in a lot of ways and I do appreciate that but um, but I think a lot of people in the world today and I include myself in that as I used to be are very selfish and self-centered and I've become aware really of the fact that I'm actually a much better person than I gave myself credit for um, so I, I guess all these harsh lessons that I've had to learn over the past few years have, have shown me that I'm actually a better person than I believed I was and that for me is a positive thing so at least something good's come out of it you know and I'm glad that it has 